You're in for a big surprise. Freeman Factory. Scott, he's gonna take us on a tour and show you where the boats start and where they end up at. Where all the big molds are. We have our 47, 42, 37, 34, all of our liner molds, which are the big, the, the deck, where it's formed, the cap molds, the gulls are supported, it's all these parts. Every part we build is, is formed in a mold. We spend a lot of time and effort on our molds and our tooling. Um, but once we have that dialed in, then we're able to use the molds to kind of get the production rolling and get boats done in a more timely manner than ever before in our new facilities. Uh, the big crane here pulls the big parts out kind of pan around here of this is our lamination group. We do infuse all of our larger parts to help save weight, also more efficient and a cleaner process. We go to the small parts and I'll show you that as well where all of our lids, boxes, lab wells, consoles, everything's made back here. So they have four different models to choose from. There's a 34, a 37, a 42, and the big cat daddy, the 47. We just got our 42 recently, we love it. We've had two 37s. And Scott is gonna give us a detailed tour today of the new facility here. Boxes, T-tops, dive doors, coffin box, console. All the small parts are made in here. And they come and join the assembly line just around the corner. Once they get done, these guys, uh, actually we use a lot of the same lid on multiple different versions. So. These are critical to obviously boat manufacturing and getting everything done on time. Is they every part every boat gets the same number of boxes of lids, so while it is more repetitive, it's not as, as custom, it's extremely important that we get these these done and rolling so we can get the boats assembled. There's your coffin box liner. That's the uh, each side of your 42 and 47. The coffin box where we put the fish, also keep some dive gear in there occasionally, some clothing when we went to the Bahamas, luggage, there's the liners right there. And it smells like fiberglass in here, you guys. Like Very strong. Like, like resin, resin, not fiberglass, like resin. Is this going to be vacuum and fuse? Yeah. That's all the fiberglass on there now. And then you bag it, and then you infuse it, correct? So they're going to put a bag on it, they're going to vacuum and fuse all the resin there. That will be uh, done soon. Alright, so here are two different leaning posts. These, these parts have just come out of the mold. I haven't even put the inserts in. There's one you have, Nick. This is the uh, upper. Both, both are 42s? Uh, yeah, 42, 47s, yeah. Okay. Rear facing seat there that I have on my boat. This is a 
rigging station yep. if you want that one up Power there. Station, so you do have a couple different options to choose from. Correct. Here's our different consoles. Oh. Here's yours. You should look them up here. The 37. I don't see a 47 anywhere. There's probably one up front. They probably just put out a mold. Well, there's are assembled, put together, nice line, cut. So we have a nice finished surface here. Every single lid is done by our finishing group after they are pulled out of the mold. Um, this little joint here, well, you may not pay much attention to between where these two layers come together. We spent a lot of effort on that, making sure it's nice and smooth. Our T-tops are all the same way. It's the little things. Production, whose boat is this? This is actually Mr. West's boat. He, uh, he had one of our unicorns. He had a 29 prior to this one. Um, he came to us and said, I want something a little bit bigger and a little bit faster. So we, uh, we're in 37 land. Um, the boat is now in clamp up. And what clamp up means here is we're taking the three big pieces of the boat, the hull, the liner, and the cap. And we're mating all those pieces together to make it not look like a big bathtub, but like one of our boats. Um, Mike has some of the new additions to the 37 rolling forward. You can see the rod holders on the transom are a little bit different than what folks were used to seeing. A little bit better fit and finish. <laughs> I don't have my, my rod holders are not like that. From, uh, from here, they'll put the furniture in the boat once the three pieces are set and by furniture we're talking leaning post, coffin box, console and once it cures and it's all adhered to the boat it'll then get pushed up into rigging and rigging we'll put it on a trailer we'll get all the engines put on it we'll put the t-top on and we'll start running all the wires so from this stage in the process this boat's probably two weeks two to three weeks from being completed and delivered to Mr. West right here. You excited? Oh, oh we both that same thing. <laughs> super James excited. Super soda. excited. <laughs> so, Does yeah. it have a name? Real blessed. Quad motors going on it. When are you guys hanging the motors with Next week? The motors, more than likely by the end of next week, this boat will have engines on it and the T-top and probably 20 to 30 percent of the wiring will be will be done at that point. An exciting day. And Mike picked, picked us up at the airport. Big thanks for that. And took us to Wendy's. And we stopped at Wendy's there. We got the bacon and fries. I gained some weight. Let's keep on exploring. Nope. Paul, whose hard top is this? Mr. West top. <laughs> so we've got multiple stages of the boat being built at the same time. So the boat's in clamp up. And we've got our T-top guys pretty much pre-wire everything. So when the boat does reach rigging and we put it on the trailer, We'll lift the T-top with a forklift, we'll place it on the boat, get everything set and level, and then it makes it makes the whole process a lot smoother to where we're getting wires, we're plugging it in the right place, and it's just a lot more efficient with our time than we used to be. So this is one of the one of the benefits for that. Yeah. Jump for another step, we're in the full blown rigging here at this point. Outside of free rig. Our engines are hung. Our guys setting up the electronics. This happens to be a Garmin boat, but everyone's done do the preliminary system setup where we make sure that all the units are talking to each other, talking to the steering system and the engine controls. The boats today are very computer integrated, in which pretty much the whole system works as one. And the GPS from the autopilot to the stereo, the engine, steering, everything's all one giant unit and shares information between one another. We're going to check out a 47. Oh boy. All right. All right, this is the really broad minded boat. This will be Nick's next boat, right? We're yeah. walking up to 47. <laughs> How YouTube? many people have to click like to get us into a 47, Nick? Come on. About 50,000, probably. 50,000 likes, and Nick will get a 47. Ah, uh, here we go. What is this? Oh, let's open up and see. So Sir? new. Oh. If, when you step up to the bigger boat, Nick, you'll be able to offer a little Wash more, your hands. a little more service here. Hang you can on. get a. I want to know what's over here. Open it up. Oh, oh that oh. is the grill. You can have some heated bananas. Is that? We could be cooking breakfast out there, you guys. Uh -huh. Bananas and oatmeal, warming them up. I like it. Swordfish, swordfish, and warm breakfast. Got our refrigerator. 
That's a little small one there, but keep your beverages cool. Nick will probably put swordfish baits in there, but that's just kind of how you use. <laughs> tackle station, got the rear display. Tackle station, easy access to. Coming out the double row, obviously, I get the second set of seats here. This tower, the, excuse me, this boat's actually going to uh, South Florida to get one of the big towers put on it. And um, who's doing the tower? Uh, Dave Pagoni at Custom Pipework. Custom Pipework, you're putting a big tower on this one, guys. There you go. This is massive. Yeah, this it makes nice. the 42 footer seem small. Oh, you know what I like on this too? The holder for the hose, huh? Yeah, yeah. You, so you guys forgot the, it on mine. For the guys who actually wash their boat, Nick, we can uh, have access <laughs> to the hose holders. <laughs> then big rod locker and storage up front. 500 quart inflated boxes, bean bag box. I know you typically only take two rods when you swordfish, but yep. you have to diversify a bit and try to catch some of those yellowtails if you're ready. The added feature is out there for the generator. So it's down there. Oh, there's a generator in here? Oh, yeah. What is it? Fisher Panda? Yep. 5KW. So Look at that. There's a generator in here. What's it going to run? Uh, the grill. Um, they also Rig. have some stuff. They do a lot of overnighters in here. I wanted to make sure that they could, wanted to shut off the engines and tie up. They have the option to do that. There's that Tyler guy. Tyler, wave the camera. Who are you? We are a catamaran, so we don't have a big hole to step down into in the center, but we do offer a head option. This boat features that. If you want to check inside, you can get a copy of that. Hey, wait a minute. We we have, dude, That's been a long time. you're supposed to be inside, not in the boat yet. This is brand new. <laughs> is it comfy? I mean, it is bigger. This is a 47 console yeah. bigger. Yes. If it is bigger than I got a toilet in here. If this were your boat and that were your head, would you clean it out? Not for my customers. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Check this out, you guys. Those are all the amps right there, right? How many? Seven amps? Yeah. Seven amps on this JL audio system. It is going to be very loud. Look at the rating in there. Super clean. You guys do a great job on that. that very nice. nice. Head is nice too. Yep, yeah, but we're not getting one on our boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look how shiny it is. It's so okay. These boats are in the last stage of production here. As soon as they get them wrapped up, they're going out the door. Mike's boat will be here, hopefully in two or three weeks, and then be moving out. But check out what these guys are doing up top there. What's that on the front of that boat? An anchor. I don't even have one on my boat. Do you want one? What's the, what is it laying on? What is that thing called? A pulpit. Yes. Do you want one? Yeah. Are you getting a pulpit? I am. Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't have a pulpit. They give me a hard time. It's a really great invention. It helps you with your anchor. Yeah. So if you drop an anchor, really you might want one. I don't really anchor that. Did you put the pulpit on? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I just installed the lid. That's it. The lid? Yeah. Do you want to install the pulpit on his boat? Yeah. I can try, but. When you say lids, for the hatches or no? We're getting more workers, guys. How long have you been here for? Like three Two days. Weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. What's your name? Reese. Reese, he's new to the job. Yes, sir. All right, you got to get on the video. Oh, Denny? Yeah. yeah. How long have you been here for? I've been here about two months, but I worked here before like two years. So you worked here, you took off for the while and you came back? Yeah. What do you do exactly? Rigging. All the I, rigging? Yeah. He rigs the boat. The stop, yeah. How about so, you guys? Y'all been here for a while? I've been here about a year now. Almost. A year? How about you? January Two of a year. Two months? Yeah. And you? Almost a year. Almost a year? How about you? Four weeks. Four weeks. We got some new guys, some older guys. Young bloods. The young blood. Brothers. Randy's got some seniority out here, huh? Six years, he said. He's finally older. Randy's got his own you guys know that. <laughs> that's where you got to stick him, over there. That's Randy. He's stuck in a corner over We're there. We're going to go check out Randy's Connex over there. <laughs> All right, you guys, you're doing a good job. Keep up the good work. Thanks. This is Randy's shed over here. Let's see if we can find him. Randy! Randy! He's not here. We'll find him though before it's over. We're going to see one of the top dogs here. Randy. Putting you on camera, Randy. How long you been here for? Uh, going on six years. Six years he's been here, guys. He's done a lot of work on the boats. 
one of the head dogs here. Trying to figure out if we're going to run boats this afternoon. Is it going to happen? Probably. Hopefully we're going shrimping this weekend too. We're definitely going shrimping. Absolutely. All righty. So this is a 47 Freeman right here. Could be one of the baddest boats ever built. But if you notice, they got tow eyes on here. So this boat's actually rigged for towing, which means it's a tender. So no matter how big your boat is, there's always someone out there that's got a bigger one. And this one will be getting towed behind a big boat. Check these riggers out. They're all marsh tackies. You can see different pairs of them. They actually have spreader bars on them. These are for a 47 footer right there. These are for a 42 footer. I don't have a spreaders on mine, but if you did a lot of heavy trolling, you know, a lot of big tackle, these are what you want right here. Check these bad boys out. That wraps up the factory tour, you guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. If you guys want a Freeman, reach out to these guys here. Tyler, Paul, Scott, thanks everybody for the tour. We're getting out of here now. <laughs>Trick? Yes, if anyone gets yeah. fiberglass on you, if you just take tape and you pull it, that's really the only it way really to get is, it off. But it works great. Welcome to Freeman Boat Works. Hi, I'm Scott Cothran. Would you like to buy Freeman? Uh -huh.